In this tutorial, I'm going to create a simple birthday invitation that can be shared using the online image editor ImageBot. To create the invitation, I'm going to include some clip art, import a photo, use the sticker feature, and also add some text using the logo feature. To get started, I have open in my web browser ImageBot, which you can easily find either by doing a Google search for ImageBot or via the Flaming Text website. First I'm going to create a symbol background by using the rectangle tool at the toolbar at the side. I'm going to draw out my rectangle to the shape I need. I'd like to make some adjustments, so by using the points along the marching ants, I can use the side points to stretch out the rectangle, or I could use the corner points to scale the rectangle up. Over on the right is the properties window, where I can change the color of my rectangle. I'm going to take the stroke off, and I'm going to fill my rectangle with a linear gradient from white to pink. Now I'm going to create a banner. I always make a new layer for each graphic that I create, making it easy for me to edit later on. To open your layer properties window, you can go to your menu and go Windows, Layers or Ctrl plus L. To make a new layer, you can simply click on the New Layer button and you can double click to name your layer what you would like to name it. I'm going to call it Banner. I'm going to draw another rectangle and this time I'm going to make it a solid colour pink, just along the bottom here. So I'll change my fill properties. I'd like to add some text along my banner, so I'm going to click on the text tool in the toolbar, click on the canvas and start typing. It's going to be my RSVP. RSVP to me by March 20. I'll triple click to select all the text. I'm going to change it to a cursive type. I'm going to use the slider to scale up my font size and I'm going to keep my fill white. But if you do want to change the color, you simply click on the box and change the color that you'd like to. I'm going to position my text just to the left a little. I'd now like to place a princess crown on top of the banner. I've already done a search on the net for some clip art. You'll most likely get lots of Disney characters when you do a search which do not have copyright. A good place to search for free clip art that's safe to use is from openclipart.com. From here, I can simply drag the image onto the ImageBot canvas. It's a lot quicker than using the Import Image button or the File Import Image. There's a new search feature on ImageBot that gives you access to Open Clip Art's images. Using the green anchor point, I'm going to rotate my crown a little. I'm going to scale it down using a corner pin. Maybe a little further. I'm going to pick it up and position it down on my banner. Using the sticker feature, which can be found on the left hand side next to the toolbar, I'll click on the little plus symbol to open up some options and I'm going to choose the love section today. It's so easy, you click on the sticker that you want and it simply appears on your canvas. I'm going to move my heart over, I'm going to scale it up and I'm also going to stretch it out today. You can use stickers for many features, today I'm going to place some text on top. I'm going to be using the logo feature to type in my party details. On the left hand side on the toolbar, click on logo and click on your canvas. Under the flaming text options in the properties window on the right hand side, is where you can make all your selection. There's so many fonts and looks here to choose from. I'm going to change my logo style to plain. I'm going to change the word image bot to the text that I want. Jasmine is turning four. Let's celebrate. Friday, 25 March. I'm going to reduce my font size. The font that I've choose today is Heartbreaker. I'm going to change my text color to white. And I'd also like to be able to see my image over the top of the sticker. So I'm going to change the background to transparent. The position the font over the heart, I'm going to have to reduce the font size a little further and I'm going to rotate it a little bit as well. There. I'd like to place a photo on my invitation, so I'm going to import a photo that I already have on my desktop. 
by simply dragging it onto my canvas in image pot. Reposition it and scale it a little. I'd like my photo to be positioned behind my sticker. So the layer that I created with my photo on is at the top. I can simply move it down underneath the sticker in the font by clicking the move layer down button in my layers window. I could also simply click on the photo and in my object menu, raise or lower. This invitation is now finished and ready to share. You can save the file image onto your computer by simply clicking on the save file. Sharing your image on Facebook couldn't be easier. There's a button of the Facebook logo on the menu bar. Simply click on this and it will navigate you to your login details and automatically upload your image to your profile page.